Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Thursday. Just wanted to show you some more purling. I don't know, this is just fascinating to me just because it's been doing this for a while now and kind of strange. Um, but thanks, looking pretty good. There's a shrimp actually. And uh, this is just dwarf, or actually just baby tear. I'm sorry, it's not dwarf, but um, getting the hang for how this thing focuses, maybe. Well, I say that, and then it goes out of focus. Yeah, they're seeing books in the back, but. Just thought I'd share that. Uh, another thing I was going to show you guys is uh, if you look over here in the 120, there's the bulb that I planted right there. And so all this is new growth from about two weeks worth, uh, which is a really good sign. And then um, this is the old, this leaf. Uh, see I can't see it right here this leaf right here and then this one in the back is from if you go and look at the old videos of the lace plant I was trying to grow in the uh, in the 33 gallon that's it but another thing I wanted to show you guys this was the main reason that uh, I want to do this quick video is um, I'm surprised at all the different answers I've gotten on the film and so if you, you can see it right here and this was just an experiment and I did something uh, yesterday to try to get the film to show back up and I didn't even really feed them that much yesterday uh, which is why this guy's in the frame like feed me feed me but uh, what I want to show you is I pushed that down a little bit so that it and I, I've had some evaporation over the night so maybe that I don't know, but if I if I raise that a little bit, I actually pushed it below the water line, and then I've just pulled it back up. But if I do like that, that is all the difference uh, that is needed to get this film uh, to go away, which you can kind of see it. Just it's just a very fine film, but here you can kind of see where it's there's no film. But I, I've asked some really smart people. Um, who um, contacted Cobalt Aquatics, Carl from uh, Seacom, and everybody's had a different answer. I mean, everyone acknowledges it. Everyone's like, it's not a big deal. And they talk about, you know, what kind of creates it and how to get around it. But I, I just find it really interesting that uh, it seems to be a bigger issue with uh, salt water. But uh, I don't know. Check these two out. This is the female and there's the male. He's pretty amazing. But yeah, that, that was it. Just a quick video on that. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, things over here, these two are doing very well. She's almost showing more red than blue, which is really wild. You can see the red on the tips. Her fan starting to really very very pretty. It's called a blue turquoise, um, and I guess you could call it a red turquoise. I don't know. It's a combination of both. And uh, here's that guy. But um, this tank, you know, it's not. Here you can see the film there as well. Um, and look at this, this is Rickia Flutens, or Crystal Wart, right there. But uh, that's just kind of really turned into a, uh, a little floating island. Kind of neat. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Have a good Thursday. That was really it. Just wanted to show you that. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.
Later.